Hey guys, it's Megan and Liz and this is our guide to my everyday eyeshadow So the makeup we are using to do Miss Megan's makeup today is Urban Decay um, This is the Naked palette, which is it's the Naked 2 palette. The Naked 2 palette. Mm -hmm. Yeah um, It's really cool because it literally has like a million colors. I mean not not a million but Not you know, literally probably like 15 or so and they're all really natural looking, which is, you know, why it's called like the naked palette. Mm -hmm. So there's really no way you can go wrong with this palette, um, which is I think why we use it so much and why we love it so much. And you can get it at Sephora mm -hmm. and it's a little pricey, but honestly it's lasted us like a good four or five mm -hmm. months and it's still going strong, so. Yes, and it's quality eyeshadow, which quality. is always good. So I'm just gonna do a nice, you know, natural look using the Naked 2 palette on Miss Megan. But first, I have to use an eyeshadow primer, which I know, you know, you're probably like, oh, I don't need a primer. Oh. Ah, it's whatever, but you do need a primer because, you know, you get creasy eyelids. No one know? wants a creasy eyelid. No, mm -mm. so in our personal experience, using a primer is always a good thing. And I'm also using an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. It's called Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So you just take take a little of this and spread it all over the eyelid. Make sure you rub it in. The first color that we're actually using is not in the Naked palette, but it is just it's still another Urban Decay, which is awesome. You can you can use a similar color in the Naked palette if you want, but I liked this one better, so it's just I a little, little little shimmery. Yeah, and uh, it's called Midnight Cowgirl. Hmm. So How did they come up with those names. I don't know. All right, so we're just this is the eyeshadow that we're just gonna use all over the lid. It's like the lightest one that you're gonna use, and it's kind of like a gold sparkly, fun thing. Put it all over there. And then Megan likes to put it in the corners a little bit. So I'll do that. I'm gonna use the color Half Baked, which is, it's also a gold color, but it's-, it's way golder. Yeah, it's, it's darker. And you want to put this over just half of the eyelid on the outside there. So now that you have the half baked over half the eyelid, <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and add this really pretty dark purple color, and it's called Busted. And one thing that Megan and I have learned when you're applying a darker eyeshadow, it's always nice to have like a tissue or something to put underneath the eye so that when you, when you put it on, there's not like dark, dark shadow all over your cheeks. Yeah, that's, that's not cute. It's not cute. It takes a lot of work to like get it off. It again, does, because it's like in little spots. And yeah. And we're gonna take the busted color and we're just gonna put it right on the outside of the eyelid and you know a little bit in the crease just to make it look more dramatic. That's nice. <laughs> now that we have this look, it's super awesome and it's like it looks nice, but it's not too much. Um, but, you know, just for this, this tutorial. Have a little fun. Yeah, we're gonna have a little fun up in here. We're gonna add one more color, and this is also Urban Decay. It's called Gravity. And... It's really purple. Yeah, it's super purple. And I think it kind of complements the darker purple that we already used. Just adds a little pop. Yeah, just adds a little pop. And, you know, YOLO, so... We're gonna put this in the same place that we put the busted color. It's kind of right on the outside. Just add a little something extra. Yeah. 
So the quote for this video is, if your dreams don't scare you, then they aren't big enough. And to us, this quote really just means that if we all have the courage to pursue big dreams, then we can all achieve great things in life. Mm, that's, that's nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs>